Hi guys, this is my setup for 2022. It was the same 2021 with the Wonderland 2022 planner. Uh, this is an insert card from the Happy Planner and some Ollie clips. I like the setup. They have grid boxes for the month view as well as the weekly hourly view. Um, I compared it to the Hobonichi Cousin that I used to use and I like this format better from the Wonderland planner. Um, here's a closer look at the boxes and what they look like to see if it would be a good fit for you. I personally like it and I also have an accompanying video so that you can look at this a little bit further to see what made my decision to choose this planner. Hi guys, it's me again and coming to you quickly about what planners you will be using for the year 2022. And I used these last year and they belong to this company, which is called wonderland222.com. So the website again is www.wonderland222.com. And it looks like this. And the reason why I like this planning in this last year was because um, for 2021, the notebook, I buy the notebook and the planner separately. So the notebook has this grid line on it. And before I start using books and uh, planners from this company, I was using Hobonichi Cousin Techno, but it was so hard to get the cousin. And it was always sold out, very overpriced. And so I decided there's gotta be a different way. And I forgot how I found this company. But this company is just as good as the Hobonicho cousin, uh, the Hobonichi. So the planner looks like this. I don't have a empty month, I don't think. Let me look over here. This is an empty month here. So this is what the weekly spread looks like. And as you can see, each day on the spread has like by hour. And then the monthly, well, I don't have a clean month to give you. I can give you the ones for this year. So the ones for this year, I already have them with um, the covers of the cats. I think it's called Cat Espresso. I'll link it down below. Um, she makes these plastic covers, but they're a black planner and a black notebook. And inside the plastic of the book cover, you can like, you know, either stick something on it or on the inside, which is what I did with these. But the month on this calendar looks like this. Let's see here. Is there a clean month here? So like a month would look like this. So as you see the month here, which is really similar to the Hobonichi. And you can use the same pins that you use on the Hobonichi and it doesn't bleed through. And again, this is the hourly. So I like how every day is on a column and you have the hourly that goes all the way down. And I'm not much of a decorator, but I've kept some things that people have sent my way. And so as you can see here, I haven't gone into February, but January is already full. But I like these covers because they come with these little pockets, the little co plastic covers from, I think it's called Cat Espresso. Um, I'll link it down below. And they come with these little pockets that you can insert, like maybe an appointment card, doctor's appointment, or um, maybe a sticky that you don't want to lose. And then this is a notebook that I always get. You don't have to get them together. He, uh, this company, Wonderland, um, does sell, uh, give you the option to buy them as a set. And I think you get a little bit of a discount when you buy them, but check them out. It's www.wonderland2222.com. And I'll link that below. But yeah, uh, let me know down below in the comments what planner you're using for the year 2022. And um, as always, don't forget to subscribe. Sorry, this was a short video, but I just wanted to jump on because I realized that a lot of um, people have already posted their videos for what planning system they're using for the year 2022. And 
I forgot to put mine up. So I wanted to um, get some ideas from you guys. I have used Erin Condren and I've used um, the different uh, planners that you can buy at Target. I didn't like the spiral though because I felt like when you got towards the middle of the spiral planner that it would come off some kind of way. The spiral part of it would come off the notebook and I didn't like that. So I stick to these. This is what I use for 2021. And I changed the color up for 2022 and got the black. So let me know again in the comments below what calendars you're using. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. And until next time, bye.